Riders of the Apocalypse, we welcome you under the dome of YouTube to our new weekly show made so that you, the Waste's best mechanics and riders, can win the prize. The prize is not just some fancy name for some copper or scrap. Oh no, our prize is a thousand gold pieces, the real currency of the Wastes. I can already hear some of you asking, what do I gotta build? How many enemy rides must I destroy to win? The answer is simple. It does not matter what or how many, but how you do it. In order to compete in our show, you must record and put together a video where you do something amazing. That amazing act can be something funny or mighty epic. Perhaps your ride will be something truly unique to look at. So, what are you waiting for? Play, record, or simply comment on the Crossout Show, because the best comment of the week will also get you 300 gold pieces. Our show will come out every week, and we got plenty of gold to hand out. Anyone willing to submit a video must send a letter to crossoutshow at gaijin.ru containing the link to your video, your in-game nickname, and the email address registered with your game account so we can send you the prize should your video win. Start your engines, people! It's go time! In this episode, Assault Mode, I'm taking you with me, Base Decoration Kit, so good. Looks like many players just can't accept the fact that the Mandrake was not designed to fire indirectly. Previously on Crossout Show, we witnessed the hovercraft that allowed a point-blank and direct firing of the gun, even though not very accurately. But how do you go about this task without a hovercraft and other such mumbo-jumbo? You are looking at a solution right now. By installing a vertical platform into the front of the ride, the crazy mechanic is now able to transform its artillery piece into an assault gun that is capable of rather accurate direct fire, by the way. Just watch this fire show in action. The enemy simply melt down under the relentless barrage of the Mandrake, with most disintegrating after just a single salvo. Now that's what I call destructive potential. Insta Warlock, that's a smart move, man, and effective too. You just earned 1,000 gold. Last episode of Crossout Show, we witnessed a man trying to create a proper holiday for the Wastelanders. He played by the rules too. Today, we'll take a look at the other side of the war, at one particularly nasty raider that believes if he's not getting his holiday, well, then nobody should either. Yes, you can't bring weapons to a race, but who said that the ride itself is no weapon, huh? Every ride has a self-destruct trigger, and as you can clearly see, some races degrade to destruction derbies where an exploding vehicle can become quite an effective bomb. This evil cunning is natural to all raiders, which are clearly nuts. Oh well, it's fine as long as they don't go yelling Valhalla all the damn time. Good job, Ismail Latif. Please, expect your gold very soon. Sometimes you just can't get enough peace of mind in the wastes. In this case, you can always resort to the ancient practice of Feng Shui. All you gotta do is position the stuff on your shelter the right way. Heck, the same practice can also be applied to base raiding. Sadly, though, during such a raid, you only get enemies to move around. But if you seek a true spiritual balance, then that should not stop you. This long yellow hull must be placed south of the base so that positive chi energy does not escape. Okay, good. We got another element in play now. This time it is brown and square shaped. This one must be put to the east so that the rising sun will cover it with its golden rays to store inside spiritual warmth and harmony. Now your inner core is cleaner and has balance. You can now carry on smashing raiders, business as usual. RM, you have just achieved your Nirvana and earned 1,000 gold. Or you probably don't care about material things no more, huh? Clan wars are full of challenges, we all know that. The hero of this video, though, managed not only to survive through one such war, but also overcome a whole slew of challenges, bringing his team to victory with only seconds left to spare. Enjoy!
Cash gaming? That was an outstanding battle indeed. Your 1000 gold is coming to ya. Now it's time to pick the best comet of the past week. Our Carnal says, I see a flying build, I wonder what he's doing. Who knew I was the first one to get the answer? Get blown up by Spears. Please respond to your original comment with your in-game nickname and email address so we can send you your prize. Please be advised that the prize may take up to 5 business days to be added to your in-game account. Thank you for watching this episode. Ok, let's recap the 3 simple steps on how to submit your video to Crossout Shell. Step 1. Record and put together your video. Attention! The submitted video must be made by you, must be published for the first time, must have public access for viewers and must not violate any copyright laws. Step 2. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the like button below this video. Step 3. Upload your video to YouTube and send us a direct link to crossoutshow at gaijin.ru. The covering email should contain the desired category for your video, your in-game nickname and the email address registered with your game account so we can send you the reward should your submission win. Every week 4 submissions will win 1000 gold, we will also be awarding the best comment of the week with 300 gold. So get your engines revving, make some content, send it to us or simply watch and comment. Either way, we got plenty of gold to go around. See you in the week!